What's happening? Happy Friday. It is, oh my gosh, December 1st. <laughs> I just realized that. It's December 1st. <laughs> and perfectly, it's actually snowing outside. It's the first day of like real snow. There's about six inches outside. Uh, my wife had to go to work and she was like, ah, you know, it was a lot of fun. Um, Sarge is over there by the couch. Sarge! And uh, so my dog, if, you, if this is the first time the channel. So today we're gonna talk about how to get a six-figure job in tech sales in 2024. It is rapidly approaching, guys. Okay, 2024, one month away. Um, and it has been a very exciting year. On my behalf, it's been a very exciting year. We bought, we bought this house. Um, you know, I, I work, if this is your first time on the channel, I work in both recruiting and staffing as well as, as an, a lead account executive for a tech firm. So I'm here to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight. Um, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I don't know it all, but I know enough to kind of help you guys get there. And I've done hundred thousand, I've seen over a hundred thousand resumes. I've done 10,000 plus interviews, you know, and I think it's actually more than that. And I was kind of doing the numbers the other day. It's like actually probably closer to 20,000. Um, you know, 10 years, almost six to 10 interviews a day. Yeah, it adds up. So we're gonna talk about a few different things that you can do to break into, if you're breaking into tech sales, if you're breaking into cybersecurity sales, if you, you know, there's a lot of different, or AI sales right now. Um, but 2024 is an interesting year and I think you need to listen up big time because the world's changing at a fast rate, right? Cost of living has gone up. Salaries have either declined or stayed the same. Um, you know, inflation's gone up. We talk about automation taking over a lot of industries right now. So I, I can understand people are looking for how can we make more money? How can we maximize what we have or get break into an area where there's more potential and also long-term approach. Somebody was asking me um, about my 20 year plan. 20 years, I mean, who knows with technology these days where this is going. I could definitely see probably the next two years, even up to five years. And you wanna put your focus there. 20 years is a little bit of a stretch. If you join a company, it's great to hear that they have a 20 year plan, 10 year plan, but in realistically, we're looking at like one to two year plan where their benchmark's going to. It's great to have a dream, but you gotta focus on the next logical step, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda cover into it um, some of the ways that you can do it. We're gonna talk about kind of resumes, LinkedIn, cover letters, templates, video resumes, everything like that. Okay, so. One of the biggest things that I would recommend, um, if you're trying to break into tech sales with zero experience, if you have sales experience, great. You can put that on your resume as transferable skill sets. We interviewed a guy yesterday for a BDR position and he was a real estate agent. Great guy, great presentation, really knew his stuff. He was, he'd, he'd done customer service oriented. If you have a customer service background or communication skills or leadership skills or some kind of operation skills, those are transferable. Okay, and you need to make sure you highlight them in your LinkedIn and your, and your resume especially. Um, the average recruiter only looks at your resume seven seconds, okay? Seven seconds. So you have to make sure it captures their attention on certain things. It's very instant gratification for the resume. First and foremost though, you wanna make sure that your resume is ATS compliant, compliant okay? ATS stands for Applicant Tracking System. It is the system that recruiters and hiring managers use in HR software that helps them organize all the resumes that they get, all the job postings, everything like that. It's kind of like a CRM. It's very similar to a CRM, but for recruiters. And nowadays, there's a lot more artificial intelligence, applicant tracking system software coming out that basically gives them a funnel. So a funnel of like 500 applications will use AI to screen that 500 and only produce about like five or 10 that have like, hey, these are the top resumes that you should talk to or look at or have the best probability of success within the company, okay? So there's a lot of, I could get into that all day, but you wanna make sure that you're putting certain phrases, certain sentences, vocabulary, job titles, uh, summaries within and, and results within your resume so the applicant tracking system gives you a thumbs up and lets you go on to see with an actual human being there. The eye, the, the, so somebody can actually see your resume through real eyes. So you want to make sure that you do that. You need help on that. I would recommend going to my website, resumeoffer.com. You can connect with me. I give away free templates and free advice on how to do that, especially my one-on-ones um, on how to do that. Okay. So 
That's one method. If you have transferable skills that you already have sales experience, great. If you have zero, if you've never done, say you're an accountant and you, you're really good with numbers, but you've never done sales, you, you've never done this uh, stuff and you're trying to break into tech sales, it's a little difficult to be honest. It's really, really difficult because the competition is just too much. It's too much right now. I would recommend, this is where I would recommend a bootcamp, okay? Something to put on the resume. By the way, if you do a bootcamp, do not put the bootcamp at the bottom of the page, okay? Make sure it's at the top of the page. By education, it's considered part of your educational kind of like area, section, excuse me, I'm like, Forgetting. It's it's morning, okay? <laughs> so make sure you do that. Um, and and I would recommend. I've I've actually been through a few different boot camps myself, just to like I like to learn. If anybody knows me, I'm, I'm like I just a sponge with information. And I have been through course careers, um, tech sales ascension. There's a few out there. Like I know career says one and other ones. I haven't been through. I, I have no idea. When you're doing a boot camp, always look at the results of the people graduating, okay? And uh, you know, just a heads up, I partnered with Tech Sales Ascension. I knew Eric, who Eric and Chris, who lead that, before they launched, or or at least when they were starting. And so, I people go through that program, get a job almost every single day. It's it's pretty amazing. I personally lead the resume review once a week. So I'm on those calls with a group of people, usually like five to 15 or 20 people, and we go through people's resumes, LinkedIn, and I give them tips in real time. It's completely free as part of that program, okay? So I would recommend doing that. You can check in the link below. I offer 10% off, and I actually had a conversation with Eric about this where I was giving away free one-on-ones, okay? I charge one-on-ones, they range between 80 to $150. And he was like, I noticed you're giving away free one-on-ones. I just thought it was nice. So if you invest in that, I strongly recommend it. Um, you know, Course Careers doesn't do anything wrong. I don't, I think it's a little, it doesn't give you the full information. I think Tech Sales Ascension also has a higher rate of success with people and you can get through it shorter so you can kind of get to the job within 30 to 60 days. And, and I will help you, I'll give you a free one-on-one. -on -one. Also, you would join the one, the weekly kind of mastermind resume reviews. And they also have other ones too that's like sales masterminds to kind of help you get there. So strongly recommend that. Check out the link below if that's something that resonates with you. Um, but having a certain boot camp really, really will help you understand the metrics and understand the mindset on how to get the job. And it'll give you the, 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 the beginning benchmarks, okay? So let's jump into a few other things. What are the daily action steps that you should do? The daily action steps. Some things that I would recommend. I would recommend starting off that you want to be doing applications. Like say, let's, let's say you want to get a job in the 30 to 60 days, okay? How do you do it? You want to start applying. I would recommend applying at least six to 10 applications a day. I would recommend having an, an informational interview twice a day. I would recommend having a target. Like target means a company that you totally see yourself in, that you are excited about the company itself, the leadership, or the product line. And you wanna target 10 to 15 companies to start. Start there, start small. Once you do those 10, 15 companies and you go through them, then we're gonna start expanding on that between 50 to 100, okay? Ideally, you're gonna start doing this. You want to be doing between one to four interviews a day. That's kind of the, the range that you wanna be doing. And then interview can be consisting of either a phone introduction, it could be consisting of a video Zoom interview, an in-person interview, or a panel interview, okay? So those are like what constitutes an interview. You wanna be doing one to four of those a day. And if you're doing this consistently and following up and doing the right kind of cadence exactly, you will have at least between two to five offers at the end of 60 days, okay? So the ideal scenario, that's, that's the ideal scene. So this is very, very important that you start getting into the mindset of tech sales before you, while you're job hunting. So that when you actually get the job, you kind of know the routine, how you do it. 
And, and this is a mindset that you need to kind of get into. And, and effectively, looking for a job really is selling yourself. You're selling your services. The offer letter is closing the sale. You got an offer. You got a sale on the table. That's awesome. So this is all to kind of get you there. Um, some things that I would prepare, okay? You want to have a professional ATS compliant resume, okay? You can use some of the resume templates that I give for free. They're completely free. I don't know why more people don't. <laughs> I get sh I get people who want that at least a few times a day, but it is funny to me on if I look at the people how many watch the videos versus like actually take advantage of that. There's you know there's tips, templates, resumes, everything you need to get and get that done. So I would strongly recommend to use a solid resume template. Make sure it's a ATS compliant. You can reach out to me if you need it, more information on that. Okay, next thing is your LinkedIn. You do need a LinkedIn. If you're not, if you're new to LinkedIn, which happens a lot for people, totally understand. Um, you want to start connecting with other people, and this is a, a big advantage of also the boot camps is the networking with everybody else, because everybody else who's starting off with you is then going to go into other uh, tech companies, and they're your network. Three to five years from now, that's perfect. If you need to change or, or expand or level up, these are references and professional. Um, relationships that you can utilize and leverage and you help each other out it's not just you keep taking 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 you also give as well okay you have to make sure you're giving it's not just like what can you do for me all the time you have to get in that mentality of like attitude of gratitude what can I give a little bit more for okay so important um, where was I? Cover letter. You want to make sure you have a cover letter. It, it, I'm not going to guarantee that the recruiter is going to watch it or read it, it, but it is good to have to kind of make sure you stand out from the crowd. So there's also some templates that I would recommend. You can find them in the shared folder below um, in, the free, in the free templates. But usually there's always on the applications like, do you want to message the hiring ma manager? Or do you have, they give you similar questions that you want to make sure you jot down so you're not spending an endless amount of time per application. You can kind of go through it a little bit quick, quickly. Ideally, you're able to do like between six to ten applications in an hour. So you're dedicating one to two hours doing this per day. Um, that's why it's called the two-hour job search. You do six to ten applications a day and then usually like with uh, two informational interviews. Um, informational interview means you're just contacting these people. You're contacting uh, certain people in the organization that you want to work for and you're just becoming a professional reference. You're asking them about the company, the industry, how they broke in, you know, what would they recommend for somebody in your shoes. You're getting advice and counseling um, and a perspective on it. And you're just making a good relationship. I, it, it, I'm kind of like not like job hunting right now, but I still do this on a regular basis. Successful people on a regular basis network. So be aware of that, okay? So those are some few things. Something I would also recommend, prepare a video resume. Okay, start getting comfortable in front of the camera. I am noticing more and more on ATSs that they're requesting a video interview, 30 seconds a minute, two minutes tops, pitching yourself during the application. I am noticing it a lot more. Um, so I would recommend make sure you prepare that look presentable. I know I, I, on these videos, I know I don't really, I look always a little disheveled. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I always usually do them Friday mornings with my coffee. I enjoy it. So, so yeah, I, other videos I'm sure you've seen on my channel, I'm like suited up and everything else. Uh, if I go to a conference or something. So let's talk about some other tips that maybe I haven't mentioned before. The team. Your, your income will be the average of your five best friends. Okay, if you ask a financial you know, professional, your, at, your income will be the average of your five best friends. If you look at your personality, <laughs> from a sociologist's perspective, your personality will be the average of your five best friends. Oh, I should say in five years. So if you're looking at a projection of two to five years from now, right, who are the five people that you associate with the most? You have to make sure you take kind of an inventory of this, okay? And if you don't, don't worry. You start changing who you are, the people around you are going to change as well. So what I would recommend is that when you're joining a sales team, the ideal scenario is they're all making six figures or above. That's the ideal scene, okay? Not everybody's going to be doing that, 
but the manager, ideally the manager is. That they are making a significant more than the other people. I like ideally 100K plus more. That is somebody that you can mimic and model after and observe what they are doing. Okay? When you're getting a mentor, make sure that they're having the income that reflects that. Okay? Big important. Um, if ideally also, if it, maybe it's a startup. Um, but have the people that are joining, have they done six figures in the past or do they have kind of six figure habits? You know, are they go getters? Do they, are they enthusiastic? Uh, do they, do they understand sales and tech very, very well? So you got to look for these little benchmarks on how to position yourself accordingly. Okay. Uh, I did a post also recently, statistics have really found that the people that, um, I, I kind of posted already, but Summary is that if you read 30 minutes a day, if you listen to podcasts or audios or something on the industry you're in, as well as go to the conferences, masterminds, seminars, you know, all those things, you know, over the next five, six years, and you do it consistently, those are the people that were making between three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars a year. Interesting statistic. So and then the other thing is, I, I've talked about this a little bit on vocabulary. Johnson O'Connor was a guy who was actually the head of GE and he was looking at talent. He was looking at the similarities between all the executives and he started, he found, made this discovery and then he started expanding on it. He found that vocabulary was the number one common denominator of all successful executives within, within the company. And then he started looking at other companies and he found the exact same thing. So you never, you ever heard about that like word of the day? What's the word of the day? I would strongly recommend that you do that. That, <laughs> that you start expanding your vocabulary, your business vocabulary, your sales vocabulary. And if you, you build it by only 5,000 new words, it's like learning a new language, right? Your, I'm not guaranteeing success, but your probability will go up significantly, okay? This is a big reason and you can check out, if you want some resources that I strongly recommend, you have to reach out for me for that one, okay? Because um, I've talked about it before, and I don't know if everybody kind of went in one year and not the other. When you're reading or listening or, or, or doing skills and skill development, you want to look at your sales skills. You want to look at your leadership skills, your tech skills in the industry, the competition, your product knowledge, and, of course, personal development. Because it's all one life. Like, I don't really think of, like, the work life and everything else. Like, I do a lot of fitness things. By the way, that's also a, ma a major common denominator that I notice from high achievers in tech sales. They're all, like, not every single one, but the majority are into athletics. They're into health. Because in, in, in athleticism, there's discipline, and you have to do daily habits or weekly habits to kind of get the end result. I do, like, I'm a big into triathlons. I'm going to do, apparently, two half, mar two half Ironmans next year. I was already signed up for one. Now all my friends here in uh, Oregon are like, hey, we want to do one with you. I'm like, all right, I guess we're going to do it in two of them. Um, but, and, and like, you know, both Eric and Chris who lead Tech Sales Ascension are, ath were, are, are athletes or ex-athletes themselves. They're like ex-Olympic athletes. So there's something to say about that. Um, so work on yourself to work on your mindset. Very important. Once you're an account executive, to be making that level... Obviously, model and mimic. The first 90 days you're at a job, you want to be really focusing on just hammering it away, on leaving a great first impression. You know, the team is not going to, like, help you out. It's really up to you to kind of figure it out until they respect you, until you gain their trust. Um, I didn't really realize I was doing this when I started off. Um, I just kind of just hit the phones, started going. It wasn't until, like, kind of like, yeah, where you have to earn that respect that when people started helping you and just like giving a, a helpful hand. So ideally, if you're starting off an SDR role, you wanna be doing between 75 to 150 phone calls a day, okay? You wanna be averaging about, you know, depending, it depends on kind of like the, the sales cycle. Um, I would say a good rule of thumb is that you're able to book four to six demos a day, um, at least minimum 10 a week. For people, if you're an account executive, you're you're doing four to six demos a day. You're actually talking to customers, trying to close the account, and ideally, you have four to six accounts that you're working consecutively. 
that's easiest path I can recommend to getting to six figures, okay? Don't forget about the other elements that I talked about. There are a lot more. I don't actually say everything. I, I try to give you guys a lot and I just give it. It's all free knowledge, but it's up to you to kind of like roll with it. So some things I would recommend, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. We're happy to connect with you. Happy to help in any way, shape, or form. You can use me as a professional reference and get more market data. I would recommend joining TechSales Ascension. Um, this is the one that, like I believe will give you the easiest path to get there. And I will help you. I'll even gift you a free one-on-one -on -one if you use the coupon code below. And if you don't and you just join, I'll still see you on the resume masterminds, okay? Strongly recommend that. Third is start, don't, don't wait to start. Don't always be a professional student. Start hunting now, start targeting now. Start reading about companies that excite you, that resonate with you, that things you'd wanna do in the future, that you can see yourself being there for, for not like 90 days, but at least five years, okay? that you can commit to, and you gotta commit to it. Um, the other things that I would recommend for looking at jobs, we talk about RepView. If you want the link to that, look at the description. RepView, LinkedIn, AngelList, Indeed, Google Jobs. Google Jobs actually does a good job of getting jobs that scraping uh, career pages that maybe are not posted, so check that out. Um, yeah, I think we covered a lot of ground. I hope, I probably gotta get going for my first meeting, but I hope this was helpful. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or need anything. Um, yeah, happy to help, guys. And I really hope that you make 2024 one of your best years yet, yet. okay? Best year ever. All right, take care. Have a good December. It's December 1st. Cool. Take care. Bye-bye.